Chicken nuggets, please. Hi guys, welcome. Um, we've just come into Re Reykjavik. So we're in Iceland, Reykjavik. <laughs> I'm going to start that again. Hi. It's been quite expensive overall, so we're going to try and keep our trip like low cost as much as possible. So hopefully it'll give some of you some tips if any of you are coming to Iceland. We've just come into the hotel, I'll give you a tour now actually. In the photos it looked a lot smaller. The bed is like huge, it's a huge bed. But the fact that it's got those like sides on them, it's gonna mean that we're gonna back ahead all the time. I've already done it once. Toilet, it's me. It's got like black tiles and stuff and it looks really cute. But overall, I'm quite happy with where we're staying, to be honest. I'll pop a like a budget breakdown of how much it actually cost us for the flights for COVID testing as well. The rules changed um, the week of us flying out, so we had to get a pre-departure test, but I'll pop it all by here, um, of how much it cost in total. Obviously, it would have been a bit cheaper if there wasn't COVID tests, but it is what it is. Iceland in general is known to be quite expensive, so, and I'm a bit of a budget queen, but also don't wanna like neglect the experience side of things as well. I've booked a couple of tours already on this trip. I'm gonna do a Northern Lights tour tonight, um, which I'm really excited about, because if we're gonna see it, it will be tonight, because I've been looking at the forecast, and basically for Northern Lights, you need it to be not a lot of cloud coverage, basically. Booked on the cheapest one, I will link all of the tours down below in the description box if you're interested, um, but they were all pretty reasonably priced, um, as tours go. Um, they weren't the ex most expensive tours that you can get. Like I searched out to try and get the cheapest ones. What time is it, Rich? Uh, half 12. It's half 12. So we're just having a coffee now. Um, I did bring oat milk with me um, because I have been watching loads of vlogs and a lot of people said that the coffee in Iceland is really good, but it's just really expensive. I popped it in the hand, um, and the plain luggage, what's it called? Old luggage. <laughs> I did see someone say about the Icelandic water is like incredible. So I just brought a water bottle with me um, and I'm hoping to just fill it up with the tap water instead of just buying loads of water bottles. So yeah. It's called Reykjavik Street Food and I've just ordered the lobster soup um, which is like a quite a well known thing to have here um, and then you've got the English and Czech so we'll give you a beer It looks really hot but I'm going to mm. Oh my god, that's so good Morning! I forgot to say that we went to the Northern Lights last night um, we did like a tour um, and we ended up not seeing the Northern Lights, which is so oh. sad. We're trying to book for tonight, so you can, most of the tours allow you to rebook um, again the next day or the following day. Actually, it's the ticket that we got is actually valid for up to, did he say two years or one year? One to two years. One to two years. We're going to try and book tonight. The weather's looking a bit. We went to a street food restaurant last night as well. And I highly recommend it. We preferred the lobster soup to the fish and chips just because we're British and we have good fish and chips anyway. So I'm gonna make some breakfast this morning, I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs and um, then we're going to the Blue Lagoon and I'm so excited. So I've got some layers on but I've also got swimwear underneath here. I've got this M&S thermal on and then um, these leggings were actually from Primark. They're really good for um, thermals and stuff. I managed to get a workout in and do some meditation this morning, so I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. Right, the other things I would say about the Northern Lights is that um, you need to wrap up warm, like not even exaggerating, like you need to wrap, you need to get those layers on. I would recommend two thermals, so like have a thermal leggings with like maybe regular leggings over the top, or if you're a guy, 
just thermal leggings and long johns, um, makes sense. And then your layer, so three layers on the bottom. We bought loads of these heat thermal. They were only a pound from like, where did you get them from, Poundland? Um, B&Q. B&Q. You can put them on your bum, <laughs> you can put them in your shoes, um, but these are incredible. We're gonna use those tonight. And then I've also got like this thermal beanie. Also, I had thermal gloves as well, which really helped. I'm gonna make some food now. We've got some eggs and bread, and I'm just gonna make some eggs and bread. Really? Yeah. So we just came back from Blue Lagoon. I'll pop the prices here of how much it cost us, but we went for the comfort package, which was like the most basic package you can get. Included in that is a mud mask, a drink, and you get like a towel and stuff as well. And there's loads of like free shampoo and moisturizer and shower gel and stuff there. There isn't any flip flops or anything. So bring sliders with you or flip flops. The whole experience was really nice. I would say like two hours is like more than enough time. Um, we got a transfer as well and that cost extra on top of our ticket so we didn't get like a package or anything. I would recommend to book the Blue Lagoon tickets in advance. The issue I had was I wanted to bring my camera, I wanted to vlog the experience um, but I obviously didn't want to get this camera wet and then I didn't want to get my phone wet either. If you wanted to use your phone for the footage then I would just in the bar they sell the clear cases um, you have to pay extra, but they sell the clear cases which you can like put your phone in so it can go like in the water. Tonight we have a free night to do whatever we want. Um, I might not bring the camera to this one just because I um, I like to just like pop the camera down sometimes. This is actually videos of you in the background. Morning guys. Oh my god. I was so tired this morning. Um, didn't sleep too well last night um, just because I kept thinking my alarm wasn't going to go off. Last night was really nice. Um, I didn't vlog a lot so I'll talk you through it and show you some photos. So basically um, we went to this place, I'll pop it here, um, but basically it's a food hall and it has a couple of different restaurants and stuff in there. And there were a range of prices as well. We had prawns, deep fried prawns, they were amazing. The prawns itself were just so fresh. What was the second small plate? Tacos. We had a vegan option, vegan taco, and then a, a prawn taco. I would recommend the prawn one. Um, I absolutely love the fish here, so get as much fish as you can. Um, and then we got pizza, and the pizza was good. It was a little bit watery in the sauce, but it tasted good overall and it was really cheap. We had one of the Reykjavik mules, which is like basically like a Moscow mule. It's like ginger, vodka, lime. Then we walked down all the way to the harbour. We were gonna get another drink, but at that point it was like nearly 10 o'clock and a lot of the places shut around 10, 11. So if you're like quite a big drinker, start earlier. Instead of getting another drink, we ended up getting some ice cream. So we went to this really cute um, ice cream place in Lo it's called, it was called Loca Cafe. It didn't look like an ice cream parlor. It just looked like a normal restaurant. Just walked in and asked if they did this certain ice cream that we wanted to try, which is the rye bread ice cream. I'll pop a photo here. Um, it was really nice actually. We had one to take away. Wouldn't recommend the cream. The cream tasted like yogurt. and um, wasn't like our normal traditional cream that we have. But the rye bread ice cream itself was absolutely amazing. We're just about to get ready to go for a 10 hour tour around the Golden Circle and to do the um, snowmobiling, which I literally cannot wait for. I'm gonna make another coffee. Do you want another coffee? You see here, kid? You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what if you don't? What if you fly? So 
it's now Wednesday morning and um, we've just come into Reykjavik Roasters which is like an Icelandic train chain around here and um, we just ordered Obak lattes, take it very seriously, measuring out their coffee. I noticed. <laughs> and so I'm expecting the coffee to be really nice. Um, it was 1400. We went snowmobiling yesterday um, and we also did the Golden Circle which was absolutely incredible. We had to go up this like big hill on this huge truck. One of the buses broke down in front of us so it meant that we had like an hour delay. We were stuck in the snow. It was literally like a snowstorm. Thank you. Oh, it's so nice. We then went to do the snowmobiling but we were like an hour behind. You can see more than like 10 meters in front of you. It's like a snowstorm, so you can't really see anything when you're driving. It was like, you were saying like, it was quite hard to turn on there as well. Um, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Shut up. I'm just really tired today, to be honest. Are you tired?